I thought I could do this vlog without doing anything to this natural hair of mine. But it turns out, nope. <laughs> just think of Beth and Egg Words! Oh, that's better. And I also changed, so that's how indecisive I am today. Recently, I've been really getting into just TV in general. Now, I've only just got Netflix and I'm starting to feel the side effects of it. Now, I never used to watch TV before. I mean, I think the extent that I used to watch was either Friends or The Office and like that would be it. It's kind of like something just switches in your mind as soon as you log into Netflix. It's kind of like a game of Jumanji, you know. Once you start, there is no stopping. Being unemployed doesn't help either because I've got all the time in the world. I'm not even that kind of person that needs to get up and go to work in the morning. You know, it breaks the cycle up. But no, I can just keep going and going. You just keep telling yourself, oh, just one more episode, it doesn't hurt. And then one more episode turns into, well, it was the season finale. I need to see what happens next. And it just, oh. And the only thing that does break that cycle is when it ends and you feel like someone has died. Someone close to you has died and you think, I'm never gonna see them ever again. And then it hits you. I mean, are Ross and Rachel still together? Emma's gotta be at least like 13 now. What's Michael Scott's job now? They didn't even tell us. You know, he's just moved away with Holly and, and we don't even know what's going on. It's just all these unanswered questions that will never be answered, will they? You know, you just kind of have to pick yourself back up again. It's like when your family pet dies and you think, well, should we get another one? And you think about all of the heartbreak that you went through the last time. But you do, don't you? You just keep letting yourself get hurt. Ah. So in my last video, I asked everyone to send me in some fan mail in the chance of winning one of my awesome Edwards egg cups. And my god, did you send them in. So I just want to say a big thank you for everyone who did send me in an entry. And I'm going to print them all off and stick them all over my wall. But here it is. The winner of the Edwards egg cup is... Me and Rose Goddard! Look how awesome that is! Oh, just, I'm just blown away. And I'm even kissing the little egg. Just well done, Mia. And if you guys want to see all of the rest of my entries, I'm going to pop them on my Twitter and Facebook fan pages, which you can find links below. And I thought I'd just let you know that my next video is going to be a Q&A! Because oh, I've only ever done one of them. So I know that you guys must have so many burning questions to ask me. So if you do want to ask me a question for next week's video, then please leave it in the comment section below, or you can send it to me on my Twitter, on my Facebook, on my Tumblr. Do I have any more? No. So all the links are down there for you. Awesome, so I will see you in the next video, and have a very eggy week. Yep, goodbye. <laughs>